Yeah! <laughs> ok, więc... 3, 4, zaczynamy. Zaczynamy pierwszy wywiad w amerykańskiej audycji radiowej. W American Dream. W American Dream. Z tej strony Mateusz Świderski. I Maciej Klimowicz. A z nami już jest teraz prosto z Las Vegas, Roger Del Rey. You can say something to our uh, listeners. What's up with y'all, man? Roger Ray, also known as Ray Hancho. What's up with y'all, man? I'm out here with my guys in Poland. We in Lublin. Getting to it. Yeah. First interview of 2024. Pierwszy wywiad uh, Rogera w 2024 roku. Uh, dla tych, którzy nie znają, amerykański zawodnik koszykówki z uczelni Livingstone. Mm-hmm. Uh, potem zawodnik w Luksemburgu. A teraz gościmy Rogera w Lublinie, w Lubliniance. Mamy taką przyjemność. Mamy przyjemność gościć właśnie Rogera. SPD. Yeah. To jest zawodnik niesamowitego kalibru. Ma wiele rekordów w lidze NCAA w D2. Więc... Wow. Jest to po prostu zawodnik z bagażem doświadczeń i mamy do niego parę fajnych pytań. Dokładnie tak. Więc teraz przejdziemy na, ang- na angielsko oczywiście, bo wywiad będzie po angielsku. So Roger, mm-hmm. uh, very, thank you very much for coming here. Appreciate you, man. Uh, so, we have to start from the beginning of your journey. So, Las Vegas, as, yeah. as we said. Mm-hmm. How, hometown. Yeah, hometown. How does it feel to be, you know, young young boy growing up in La- Las Vegas. So because Polish, when Polish people think about Las Vegas, it's the hangover, mm-hmm. you know, this this movie, casinos, just generally gambling. It's it does, it's like, oh man. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no problem, it's just, it's just my. Yeah. Uh, so. Dizzy. <laughs> no, no, no problem, no problem. It's yeah, very good. laughing. Yeah. Uh, I can bring you some. Just bring me another water, bro. Shall I help you? Uh, <laughs> no, it's it's everything for that, really. Like console. Yeah, I know. And uh, statives. Yeah. Regular thing. This, like, yeah. Yeah, no, that's good, it's good. Let's go ahead, keep going, keep going. It's okay? So, yeah, keep going, the mic right here. We're a captain, so... Yeah. So, uh, growing up for a young boy... <laughs> My fault, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> no problem, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> so... How does it feel to be, how so, can you, you know, describe real Las Vegas? So, I ain't, I ain't born, I ain't raised in Las Vegas or born in Las Vegas. So, I'm mm-hmm. born in North Carolina, Raleigh, North Carolina. Um, how old, how old you were when you moved to Las Vegas? I just got to Vegas probably four years ago. Oh. Yeah, but the reason why I call it home, I might explain to you. Okay. It's, that's my home, that's where I am now, and that's when... Like all the traction and emotion. Like I was mm-hmm. in North Carolina, but North Carolina never felt like home. You know okay. what I'm saying? It was cool. You know what I'm saying? I was raised there and I was, you know, I was born there, but I was back and forth a lot from North Carolina to you got to do your homework on a place called Gary, Indiana. Okay. So I was raised in Gary, Indiana for a long, uh, probably up to like nine, 10 years old, back and forth, North Carolina and Gary, Indiana. Okay. So those are two different environments. Gary, so Indiana your is like. Family- uh was from Indiana? Yeah, my mama, her okay. whole family from Indiana. And Indiana. my grandma, everybody raised from Indiana. But my biological father, his side of the family from North Carolina. Mm-hmm. So summertime. That's you live yeah. Here. yeah. So yeah. yeah, I lived in North Carolina. Went to school there. Like I said, but North Carolina was like a more of a you know, like a fight, like mm-hmm. seven different high schools. Nobody really tried oh. to give me no opportunity. A lot of NBA players that's in there today, like i was always a threat in North Carolina, so they kind of mm-hmm. got like a monopolized system. Like, they got a certain group of people they want to get to the next level and help. Sure. I didn't have no support system, so I'm always a threat because I'm always, I'm always destroying the best players. Always, always struggle. Yeah, because I'm always destroying the best players. Mm-hmm. So they like, nah, keep him away. You know what I'm saying? Like he, uh, okay. every time I run up against somebody that's supposed to be top rank, I destroy him. So. The politics always on their side because they got the backing. You know, me, I ain't got no, you know what I'm saying? At that time, I ain't had no father. I ain't had, I just got my mama and my little brother. You know what I'm saying? We going through it. So, you know, they just always felt like I was a threat. So they kind of like blackballed me a little bit. So uh-huh. I had to go to Charlotte. That's in North Carolina where the Hornets yeah. play. I had to go to Charlotte for my senior year of high school. Went to seven different high schools. Crazy journey, bro. Seven just, different high schools. Just trying to find my way. Nobody really trying to give me an opportunity. 
when I got an opportunity, it was always like kind of snatched from me. But you know, what I'm saying we just kept fighting. Then I went to prep school in Charlotte again, mm-hmm. Concord, and then I went to college in uh, Livingstone and Salisbury. Okay. But when I got to Vegas, uh-huh. well, that's when life changed. The pandemic. Uh, Livingstone is in which state? That's in North Carolina. It's North Carolina. So all this in North Carolina. But you played in Livingstone, and that's incredibly forty-five points triple double. Yeah, the this only all game. The only in- that's the only one in NCAA history. Michael Jordan, anybody that played NCAA, they, mm-hmm. ain't, they ain't never did forty-point triple double. Michael Jordan ain't do it. Anybody else you could think of, ain't nobody else do it. But like I said, see, this is why I market myself so heavy now. Because in college, that was supposed to be like at least mentioned on ESPN, like something. But nobody, act, everybody act like it was normal. My college didn't try to do no marketing with it. They just let it happen. And that same night, I broke the scoring record at my school. So at my college, I got the, I'm the all-time leader in points, assists, steals. And I got 2,000 points. But my freshman year, I didn't play. So I really got 2,000 points in three years. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I didn't play to the end of my freshman so in year. Four, in four years, maybe two. two oh yeah, <laughs> something yeah. crazy. If I get to play, I didn't. The first ten games, I didn't touch the floor. I mean, granted, Why? they were like, "No, this roster not, not playing." They were like, "We already got our point." I would. They didn't even want me. It's crazy, bro. They ain't even. They felt like they already had their point guards. You know, six uh-huh. two, six three. They felt like he was the man. My only had one coach that recruited Just me. Our listeners, how tall are you? Um, five nine, five, five ten. Nine. You, you hear this? 45 points, triple double, five nine guy. Yep. That's it. When I first hear your story, mm-hmm. and when Rojic, Coach Rojic, told us, I thought like Isaiah Thomas. Yeah, Isaiah that was Thomas. my favorite player for sure. Then uh, you know, I ha- I have a question. Like, yes, this is the information for our listeners. Uh-huh. Tall isn't uh, aren't everything. You know? No, yeah. no, 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 yeah. not at all. Absolutely. And it's really easier playing against taller mm-hmm. guys when you small, low to the ground, my center of gravity, because. You not, I'm quicker than you. I can get around you. I can get, I can, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's easier, bro. The taller they are, it's easier to play. I really have trouble, more trouble playing against shorter guys that's quicker than me. Mm-hmm. That's always been my, like, what I hate on the basketball court. Mm-hmm. Six feet up, taller than me, are you done? I'm not, <laughs> that's what I like. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you done. But the short, quick jokers, it's like, mm-hmm. it's hard, bro. They fast. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah, like, yeah. and I won't always, the fastest, I'm fast, super fast now because yeah. I worked on my speed, but. Before I wasn't always the fastest. I just I kill you with skill. Mm-hmm. But used to have some guys my height and shorter. They used to be fast, lightning fast. So it used to be like, bro, yeah. these these guys is hard to you know deal with. That's when I noticed like your short player is hard to deal with, bro, for real. Mm-hmm. Especially if they know what they're doing. Yeah, because you know you can uh, dribble out tall guy. You mm-hmm. can you know pass and and shot bet with a. And people understand about basketball, yeah, the goal high, but the whole game is played on the ground. You mm-hmm. dribbling the ball. Yeah. So whoever lower the low man gonna win always. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's why you get six nine point guards, you know what I'm saying? We get somebody like Ben Simmons or somebody, they can't do nothing at that height. You know what I'm saying? But they put projected to be all world because that's not what basketball is, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Basketball is played from the ground up. Absolutely. And nobody gonna let you like you know, you see high school highlights, different people, people, you just go to the rim and dunk. We get to the next level, ain't nobody just letting you get in there. You got to make up. You got to get to the rim. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You yeah. might have all the bounce in the world, but if you can't get to the rim, what you going to do? You got to be able to get by somebody, make the read. You know what I'm saying? You got to be able to do all that. So, now nah, height ain't just going to get you there. It's going to have to be skill and heart. That's why most of these guys are just dunkers. Yeah, dunkers. But guess what? That's two points. So, once you yeah. show me a dunk highlight, you might get what? One dunk, maybe two a game. Mm-hmm. All right, so where the rest of your points coming from? Yeah, I pride myself on being consistent and productive every night. Ever mm-hmm. since I was in college, like, like that so was, I had that was the key point. The key point is to be consistent. I don't, I don't want to be one of them players that you pull up their highlights. Mm-hmm. You pull up their highlights, right? I do this all the time. I see it on Instagram. I see your highlights, then I go to your name on on Google. You average ten points, five points, six points. It's like, you know what I'm saying? I want to yeah. be one of them players like. Whatever I'm portraying, that's what I'm actually doing. So if you see my highlights, you're going to see 20, 25 plus. You know what I'm saying? Every every night. And that's why I was in college. Yeah. To uh, remind, here in Lubyanka, Roger is averaging around 25. Yeah, 25, 26. Yeah. yeah. So uh, you see how, how this player. And I'm really a rookie. This is really my first year. I played in Luxembourg only seven games. People ain't seven know that. Seven games? I only went there for the playoffs. So what happened was I was in. Valencia, Spain at a camp, uh-huh. got MVP at the camp, whatever, popped off or whatever. I'm about to go home, but the, my coach at the camp, like, yo, 
I coached in Luxembourg. They need a point guard. Somebody got fired. That wasn't a plan to go there. No, 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 no. I go, I went there on a favor. Most of Americans, uh, I, I guess, like, don't know what is Luxembourg. No, I, me either. I, I like, never even know. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I went there on a favor for my coach. You're calling to your friends, yeah, I got a contract pro overseas. Where are Luxembourg? Where? Yeah, yeah, exactly, bro. So I, my coach was just like, he, 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 this is how he got me. He told me a story about a dude from Golden State. He went to Luxembourg, then he ended up on Golden State. He like, bro, this is, this you uh, just go. I'm, I'm like, all right, you try to jazz it, but I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Because it's like, I'm going to get this experience to play. And I, I averaged 33 out there. I ended up leading Europe and scoring, but they didn't count it because it was only seven games. So, uh, okay. but it was a good experience to just to play, you know what I'm saying? Get my feet wet because I hadn't played in two years, you know what I'm saying? But, I didn't. I didn't play in two years after the pandemic. You know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. I stayed and waiting for my little brother to get his situation together. Now mm-hmm. he at UNLV doing his thing. That was a big problem. Yeah, but I like I said, I do it all over again. I knew I was going to get right back into it, and I know mm-hmm. who I am. You know what I'm saying. Everybody else, I always had a problem with marketing and politics, but I know who I am. I know when I play basketball, no matter against who, I know what I'm gonna do, and I know what type of work I put in. So, and I got faith in God. So, I knew it was going to get right back to this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I have a question about your. Uh, tall because you aren't very tall uh, as a basketball player and uh, we want to know has your small height uh, been an obstacle to your success we can remind you our viewers that roger yeah, is a yeah c i a a m b so we know we can hoop a little bit and yeah national player of the year so that year i got national player so i was the best d2 player in the country mm-hmm. yeah i so. saw that this picture man of the year yeah i don't know it's like Player of the year, or yeah. So it was a couple. It's I don't, similar to this. I don't put out. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't put all my like. My Instagram is more like basketball, but it ain't like I don't just list all my awards. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So yeah, I got D two National Player of the Year. That's why we had problems so, with research. Yeah. So national, the whole the, or the whole country, and I got Player of the Year in my conference, and you know, what I'm saying all American and all of that. But now nah, my height has actually been. I think that's that's my that's my key to my success for real. My center of gravity. People mm-hmm. always say, if you were six three, six four, you'd be going crazy. But man, I'm already going crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Every time I play, like you look my name up, you ain't gonna see no down for you. I just, like I said, I'm coming from behind. So all this is a blessing, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm coming from behind. You gotta think about it. Like I said, no scholarship coming out of high school. Mm-hmm. Not one. Zero. Not D one. I went to prep school. Then I committed to Baylor. But mm-hmm. I was a partial qualifier. To Baylor, this uh, yellow, yeah, green. The, the big, yeah, big university. Baylor. Played there. Yeah, the yeah. So I had fifty one on this college team when I was in prep school. Mm-hmm. I dropped fifty one, but they a college team. We in high school. I had fifty one on them. The next year, I got the Baylor look, and um, yeah. But my my even my prep school, he didn't want me to go there. So long story short, I can say I'm I'm playing from behind, bro. You gotta think about it. So everything I'm going through in my life, not having a dad, you know, saying so my dad got incarcerated. Man, we going through family struggles, family trauma. Like, I'm not even supposed to be nowhere near this position. You know what I'm saying? So, my height is actually a blessing. Like I said, I ain't never lost a matchup. Mm-hmm. Not in a real game. You might say, like, people get it. Man, I don't, I don't even say that. Like, but not in a real game. Every time we matched up with somebody that got the NBA look, or NBA, every time I match up with anybody, bro, I ain't never got. Like, even when I'm in Vegas, that's why I love Vegas. Mm-hmm. That's why my confidence is like this because – I destroyed the whole NBA and the G League players. So I'm like, bro, if I'm doing this to y'all, bro, ain't nobody else got no chance. Uh-huh. But y'all just, like I said, politics on their side. And, uh-huh. and, you know what I'm saying, it just ain't my time yet. But now coming to Poland, now I understand why I had to go through everything. I go through the gear here. You know what I'm saying? Because okay. when I got to Poland, like, life done changed. Like with with everything, you know, with, with just the people I met, um, the music. You know what I'm saying? I got the right people on my on my side, on my team. And I, you know, say I got real love. You know, what I'm saying it's crazy how you gotta go way overseas to get some real love. But that's why, I, that's why I say I'm, I rep Vegas because that's why I get my love at. Uh-huh. That's where they love me at. You know, what I'm saying so. I love who love me. You know, what I'm saying, yeah. and that that's just how it's so height. So back to your question, height height has been my biggest advantage, not disadvantage. So everybody out there, you short. Um, you know, what I'm saying you're not as big as everybody else. Just find a way. I, your heart is the biggest muscle you got. You got heart. You got a vision. You got hard work, you know what I'm saying? You got dedication. Just stay dedicated to it, bro. And you got to run, and you got to keep running your laps. The turtle won the race, so you want to win the race at the end. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of people pop off real quick, right? But you don't hear nothing else about them. A lot of people pop off. So you want to – we just stay steady. We stay in the race, mm-hmm. and we just – we want to be the ones there at the end. See, the the point is to get to the end. 
You know what I'm yeah. saying? It's a marathon. It's not a sprint. You don't want to be the man that won this year or that year. Y'all want to be the one that won 10 years from now. Yeah. When you look back at their career, you look back at it and be like, yo, he did it. You know what I'm saying? So it's still going to the same spot. I'm still going to the NBA. I'm still going, you know what I'm saying, touch the Euro League if I got to. But it's it's still going so to the same spot. If you're talking about, you know, Euro League, NBA, the mm-hmm. biggest goals. Yeah. Biggest goals. So you are now 27 years old. Mm-hmm. So the biggest question that everybody – you know, can talk about, it's like, do you think that your biggest prime, it's still ahead of your... Yeah, of I didn't get, see, basketball prime starts like 28, ended like 29, all the way like 33, 35, 34, you know what I'm saying? So I ain't got no, but then you got to think about it too, I ain't played the last two years, three years, so I'm a fresh body. You got to add them three years back to me because I ain't did nothing. I, so we can say that no, the is 24. Bro, no major, <laughs> no major injuries in my life, uh-huh. sat no, out no, for no one. not one. Not one surgeon. My my college career, I played every single game for four years. Well, the games that I got playing time, yeah. I played every single game for four years, bro. We just getting started. You got to think about it. The NBA don't went backwards because now all the kids they brought in, mm-hmm. right? Fit. Uh, they want you in there seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. They they not developed. They not ready. So now all them what filling up the G League. Yeah. Now to make NBA roster, you need. Everybody on NBA roster now basically is two, three year players in college mm-hmm. or overseas. You know this, uh, I don't know how to say his name, but Hakes Himes, this guy from Miami Heat. Yeah. Uh, he played in college four years mm-hmm. or something. He's, he's, I don't Because you develop, you got to take time to develop. They be great. trying to get people out of, bro, you can't be 15, 16, 17 coming into the NBA thinking you're not even, you haven't even learned yet. You ain't went through nothing. You know what I'm saying? They're kids still. Yeah, you not. They just do that so they could try to extend the money, but now they done messed up the money because they think about it. They done gave out all these contracts and people ain't produced. Mm. But Michael Jordan said it. If we keep giving out money before people pr- pr- earn the money, then you ain't going to get the product that you're supposed to get. You, you, you're not paying for the potential. Yeah, because think about why I'm going to keep working if I already got my bread. If you already gave me, bro, you, if you give me fifty million right now, you talking about still go to practice and work hard? Yeah. What yeah. time practice? Five. I, yeah. Yeah. Five thirty. Yeah, I'll be there. Five. Five thirty. I'll be there. Five. Five twenty. I'll pull up in this Bentley. <laughs> and I'm yeah, chill, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm chilling. You know what I'm saying? So it's a different mentality. You're bro. walking to the practice. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. You're we, walking. Yeah. To I'm walking. Yeah. I'm walking to practice, bro. I'm, I'm making it happen, bro. I was walking. You, you walked here. I was walking my whole life. No, no, I ain't walk here. But. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but, called him in 4K. Yeah, yeah, yeah but uh, I've been walking my whole life, bro. We had to walk to the gym, go through the cut. Like, I really play basketball on the street, in the concrete, in the hood. I really play basketball everywhere, so you're, bro. Your Bentley is in the garage. <laughs> yeah, yeah, in fact, my, nah, my Bentley on the way. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. but, that's, but my thing is, it ain't really, you know what I'm saying? We, we got more than, see, I ain't no, you can't box me. I ain't no square. Right. I, ain't, I don't just play basketball. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't just do music. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, Simple. We, yeah, we... I'm a businessman at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? So we, we making moves, you know what I'm saying? But we move in silence, you know? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, you have some question about music? Yes, I have some question about music. We can mm-hmm. uh, move on to the next part of our audience, you know. Uh, we know you. Uh, we know you make music, yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> can you tell us how, where and when you started recording your, your first tracks? You My know? first track was seven years old. No, no, right, no, yeah. No, so, right. so I'm gonna tell you the story. People be thinking I just started doing music out of nowhere. So my uncle, shout out the kid, shout out, shout out my uncle. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Da. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so my uncle, he he really like my brother. He only about five. He only about eight years ahead of me. So we in the projects. I'm living with my grandma before my grandma died. So we we with my uncle and he come get me one day. So we in the hood. So we in the projects. So he he uh, he a rapper. All my uncles rap. My uncle Ray Ray rap. My uncle, uh, not Uncle Pig ain't rap, but Uncle Ray Ray rap and Uncle Dion rap. Whopper's family. Yeah, so it's I got a bunch crazy. of uncles that rap, but I'm young and I play basketball, bro. I'm only thinking, I've been playing basketball since four years old. I'm only thinking basketball. I ain't thinking nothing about no rap and I don't care, but they do that. And I'm like, you know, as a kid, I'm like, I'm a basketball player. I ain't doing no, my uncle, like, he get me one day, me and my little brother. Uh-huh. So I did my first song at seven. I think my little brother was like four, five. He did his at like four. He was young. No, nah, no, nah. he had to be younger than that. I put, no, nah, no, nah. let me see. Drake six years, so. Yeah, he was four. I probably was like nine, ten, something like that. No way. So long story short, he come, my uncle come get us. He like, yo, you come with me today. So I'm always with him around the hood, you know what I'm saying, at the corner store. He always showing me different things. So we go to this uh, producer in the hood named ISO. So we go to ISO house, and the 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 
the closet this big. Mm-hmm. So literally, you gotta have one foot, one foot out. Like the closet <laughs> this big. So they got the they got the uh, you know the McDonald trays. Yeah. So they put the styrofoam cups all on the uh, wall. Right. We on the you gotta sit on the bed while he on the uh, computer. So I wrote my first track to uh, um, Cassidy. I'm a hustler. So my uncle gave me the pen and pad. They left. They going to do their thing. He gave me pen and pad. He like, yeah, come on, you recording tonight. Write this song, and then when we come back, you are gonna record it. So I did my first song at like, yeah, like eight, nine years old, bro. It's called. It was called Roger G. I, I love to roll. Uh, basketball. I was. I really. No I did. I did, bro. Like Mike came out, and I was bad because I knew like all that was fake. I knew Bow Wow couldn't really play basketball. So yeah. in my head, I'm watching like Mike. I'm like. Bro, I'm better than Bow Wow, bro. So when I got the chance to do the song, yeah, I dissed Bow Wow, bro. It was like... You know Bow Wow? This guy from... Uh, from Mike. Like Mike. Yeah, you Mike ever Mike movie? Video. Yeah. Let's get him. Da, da, da. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> so uh, it was like... My name was Roger G. Yeah, and I was just like, you know... Uh, I started off like I played like MJ, but that ain't me. I rolled with my uncle D. He a real G. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, that was like Bow Wow well, can't play like me, like you know stuff like that. But yeah, that was my first, my first rap. I was like, I didn't even know that rap exists. Yeah, my uncle's <laughs> rap for real though. Like they just cause they you know he was in and out of jail, but they just he'll just sit on bang on his chest all day like. Tools, my tools, and fold, my fold. Let me push that third switch of blood. Here you just for your nose. Now I compose these rounds to explode. Just six by nine. He used to make me learn all his music. He'll come home with books of music, and he'll make me, he'll make me learn, listen. Like he'll make me read them because he wasn't the best reader, but I could read. He was like, read this, read this. So mm-hmm. I had to learn all my uncle's songs by heart. So fast forward, I didn't do music. That was my last song I did. I didn't do music until. The pandemic. I didn't do mm-hmm. music in college. I didn't want to do music. I never thought I was going to be do music. So after pandemic, it was like, maybe let's make some music. No, 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 no. So that same uncle, that same uncle I told you about, I told you he always in mm-hmm. trouble. My uncle always been a, like in the streets and stuff like that. So he, mm-hmm. he about to go to jail. He come to my school. So at this time, I'm player of the year. I got my loft, condo. I got my cameraman living with me. This how I'm about to have, you know, after this, literally... Probably after next month, I'll be back to regular schedule program, which is I keep my cameraman with me 24-7, but he was also a music producer. So my uncle come up, he come to the crib at the game. I think that's probably right, right. Not too long after I had 45, mm-hmm. he come, we celebrating at the crib. Boy, I think I threw a party or something. He like, yo, True, I need to talk to you. Mm-hmm. I'm like, bro, what's up? He like, I need, he was like, I'm about to do a little bit of time or whatever. You know what I'm saying? This case ain't looking good. I want to, you know what I'm I want you to do a song for me. You know, I always want you to do music. I'm like, nah, I ain't. He like, bro, come on, do I'm like, right, I do. I'm like, bro, you know me. If I ain't going to do a song. I do like, I give you like a little EP. You know what I'm saying? I do like three, but, four but, songs. Uh, did you said that? Or did you thought, uh, think that, no, uncle, you're always in trouble? No, 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 no. So the, I, like, I understood him. That's like my brother. So, okay. okay. Everything he ever did, that's just because of all he knew, and that's just how he came up. We were always close with him. Yeah, yeah. He always told me, like, yo, this is what I do, but you do this. You go to basketball. You you don't do nothing I do. He always, from day one, he always told us that. Do what I say, not what I do. Mm -hmm. I'm doing this because this is how I got to survive. Y'all better than this. Y'all do better. Y'all don't, y'all don't, don't sell no drugs. Y'all don't. Y'all don't do nothing I'm doing. Y'all do you good. You know that this shit. Really, yeah, yeah, he put us in the right direction, even though he wasn't on the best direction. But now he he on all the way on track. He don't do none of that no more. So you some mm-hmm. people, everybody got to go through their growth. So I never judged him, you know what I'm saying? So I'm mm-hmm. like, so he like, yo, do a song. I'm like, I might as well do a tape. You knew, you knew that he's doing it for you. Yeah, he had a good heart. Family. He had a good heart. But like my like I said, you researched Gary, Indiana. It was the murder capital. My, my family really from the trenches. So mm-hmm. when you when that's all you know, that's all you if you know better, you do better. But if you don't know better, you don't do better. So that's all my uncle and them knew. That's all they ever knew. So I couldn't judge them for that. That's that because they always kept us safe and put us in the right direction, even though they couldn't do it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So like I said, he was like, yo, do a song for me. I'm like, I might as well do a tape. So my cameraman was a producer, DJ mm-hmm. Danny Fire. He a pro- he was a producer for Atlantic Records, but he my cameraman. So we shooting vlogs, we he doing my highlights, all that. So he making beats every day. But like I said, I'm not on music, so I'm never paying attention to him, what he mm-hmm. doing. I don't care. So when I start doing that, I'm like, Danny, you'll make me some beats. And I was like, we can make a studio. I made my pantry the studio. Mm-hmm. We called it the Boom Boom Room. He like, <laughs> boom, boom, boom. yeah, so we, we had to set up like this. You know what I'm saying? I made a studio. And then when I made the studio, it was like, all right, let's do it. Did like one, two songs. I ain't even know, like, bro, they really had to teach me how to rap from from <laughs> from scratch, bro. Like, I felt like I ain't know what was going on. Like, they like... That the the engineer that I first recorded uh-huh. when I was a baby, 
I mean, when I was younger, my uncle had to go get him. He brought him two hours, three hours to Charlotte. After 20 years. Yeah, he brought him. Like and he'll write the raps, and I'll read them. I, I, he'll write them for me, and I'll mm-hmm. rap it. He'll write them for me, and I'll rap it, right? So I kept doing that. Then I finally got the hang of it. I'm like, all right, now I'm writing my own stuff. <laughs> This was yeah. just practicing, so we practicing, practicing, practicing. No way. Then I fell back and love the music, bro. I got the love. I got the music bug, cause my thing is when I do something, I do it all the way. I don't play around. Mm-hmm. So now I'm in the gym all day. I'm in the studio all day. I'm in the gym all day. I'm in the studio all day. Then I just fell in love with so it, bro. So first thought was like just for fun, just for fun. Let's yeah, try. it was just for my uncle. He wanted to mm-hmm. have a, uh, something to listen to while he was in jail, but mm-hmm. he never. He didn't end up going to jail. He ended up getting off. Like he ended up, didn't go to jail. So it was for my uncle. Mm-hmm. But then I fell in love with it. But I think my uncle, but he knew my uncle was smart, bro. He knew how to he know how to trick my mind. Mm. But it saved me because during the pandemic, think about it. Yeah. They took all the goals off the rims. I had one gym I could work out in, but it wasn't like all the time. Uh, we, all, we all know remember this. So time. the music, I needed it. I needed something to do. Mm-hmm. So last three years, I just been practicing, and that's why I took all the music off Spotify, Apple Music. Ain't none of my music up no more because now we about to really. Go. Start it's starting now. Yeah. We about to rebrand and re-go. So now we got the songs that's uh-huh. like, we we got songs we know out of here. You know what I'm saying? So now we got to go shoot the right videos, put everything together, put it on, you know what I'm saying? We putting it on the, one of the biggest platforms in Poland. We not throwing it on my YouTube channel. We throwing it on a big channel. So like, now yeah, we got yeah. a plan. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Then when I got to Poland, I got the right people with me. Like, I, like it's crazy how God worked. I ended up running into all the right people, bro, to make this happen. That believe in the music too and believe in me, you know what I'm saying? But they'll tell you like they ain't gonna waste their time. Like they if they heard it, they're like, nah, this ain't gonna work, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? But they like, nah, this this could work, you know. So I'm in like, Poland, man. do you feel like uh here's right, here's okay, you feel peaceful here. Mm-hmm. And maybe if you can tell us the differences, maybe what you see uh after living, you know, whole life in the States, some months in Luxembourg and Poland just some differences the first things you just landed here and you are wow yeah or you just what is it yeah. you know just first thoughts and what uh, when you were in the states uh, and you uh, you knew that you're going to go here mm-hmm. uh what you thought about it uh first so <laughs> I missed my first flight to come to Poland. I was I didn't want to come, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't want to come out here. I ain't gonna cap like, you're, you're, bro. I did not want to come to Poland, bro. I was not with it. I had went. I went to the the uh. And Denver Nuggets invited me to the G League camp. So it's a real story. Yeah, we were talking about. Is it a real story, Denver Nuggets? Yeah, well, yeah. Invite, so I won MVP of the camp. They invited me back. But like I said, see politics of basketball. They already had six guys. Like, we, we'll we we'll talk about this Denver Nuggets. Oh yeah, so. Um, they already had four guys that they already picked to be on the team before the camp even started. And all these guys have already played in the G League. So that's how they do. They have a camp just for technicalities, mm-hmm. but they already have everybody set. They already knew that but I, you're not going there. Yeah, but I hit but I hit the game winner, ended up having like 30 and winning MVP. So it was like I put all the coaches in the situation. It was like, ah, we got to invite them, but we already got this set, but we got to invite them. So they my agent like wanted you, but they, they can't. Because they already was set. Same thing with the uh uh I went to the Wizards. Same thing. They Wizards? told yeah they they told my agent. They said yo he the best player in the gym by far. But we you can't. Can, you could help Wizards now. They are like it. they have single Wizards. digit uh, win. Right. <laughs> I, I, I NBA is so like NBA it only makes sense. So you didn't think about G League? Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. That's what I'm saying. He he, he they told my agent he was the best player here by far. Mm-hmm. But we but Denver brought me back. But the Wizards like no nah, we can't bring him back. But he the best player. My agent like what? He's like, yeah, he was the best player, but we 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 already got we already got our situation. So same thing with Denver. Denver brought me back because they thought it was a fluke. They they wanted me to play worse. Did the same thing. You were this close to Wizards and Nuggets. Yep. G-Lay. This close, and then you know, Luxembourg. But I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm no, glad. I'm glad. I know you're glad because here's the you know you as you it, said it you feel working real out. love. You feel yeah. uh, real life, but you know just this close to dreams, and but we know that you can. Moved. No, nah, it's, it just ain't time. You know what I'm saying? So anything, a blessing out of season ain't a blessing at all. So it just won't time. It just, it, it wasn't time. I still got to develop. Mm-hmm. I still got stuff to work on. I still got stuff I got to get better at. It's just not time yet. Them guys ain't, what they doing? Them guys that got my spot, what they doing? You can look up their averages. They ain't got, you know, they not average what I'm averaging. Do you, do you feel that they still 
remember you? They still- yeah, I mean they they ain't got no choice because we dropping highlights like uh. We dropping highlights like uh, you know what I'm saying like right. every day, every five. You go, you go see us. You know what I'm saying. One thing I learned from college. I think on your reels like yeah, every day. Uh, same, yeah, the, bucket, the same bucket, same bucket, 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 we'll bucket, 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 bucket. Yeah, same bucket. Yeah. yeah, you go, you go know it's for real. So it's like, nah, I, I, I thank them for the opportunity, but it just wasn't time. Mm-hmm. It was they, they missed out. You know what I'm saying? That's how I feel, and they they catch up later. But coming to Poland, I, like I said, I missed my first flight. Then I got on the second. On the purpose. On the purpose. Yeah, on purpose. Yeah. I was like, nah. Because Denver, like, they like, uh, yeah, we're gonna call y'all back tomorrow. But he ma- he made it to the top five, but we only got four picks in the draft. I'm like, Business. all right, bet. So, but then we end up finding out the 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 scout that that really rocked with me, Coach Chase. I mean, Chad. He came up calling me like, my agent, like, yeah, look, they doing some backdoor stuff. Rod should have had a spot, but they're not gonna give it to him. So go ahead and go to Poland. Was Sierra go? No, nah, this was this was right before I came. This so, is literally like what? What I get here? October. Yeah, this it, was October. It it was after the finals. Yeah, this was November. Yeah, November. This was November. November, October. No, like, end of October. I got here October thirtieth, so it was like October twentieth or something. So I got on there, but just before the season started. Yep. Yeah, the season. Yeah, the season already started here. Or I yeah. don't know here, but there. Yeah. In, in the oh yeah, yeah. The G, like, but the G League started a little bit later, uh-huh, so okay. they started a little later. So, but you was gonna get a chance to go to training camp so with you Denver, get though. Chance to be like two way. Yeah, you was gonna get it. So you got it. So basically, you can go to you go to training camp with Denver, uh-huh. and then after that, you go to with the G League. But if you do good at training camp, they might bring you to preseason and let you do preseason. And you were doing absolutely very well. Bro, I destroy everybody, bro. <laughs> my agent will tell you, I ain't capping. My agent will tell you, my my agent, me and my agent like this, bro. That's like, uh-huh. you know, what I'm saying he. DT everything to me. So DT will tell you, he was we was going crazy. The the scout was like, but the scout don't have the power. So the scout only bring the talent in. The coaches and the, the so you can say he can say that yeah you're doing well, but nah. we we won't hire you. Yeah, like he, they no that what the scout do they bring you to the gym, but mm-hmm. the the GM the general manager gets the last say so of what's gonna happen. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So the general manager pick the players at the end of the day. So they already be having what they got going on. But when I came to Poland, the energy was amazing, bro. The first thing, the people, when I first met my teammates, mm-hmm. we was like brothers from like off get go. Me and AR click, me and Vic click. Everybody, I click, everybody. I click with everybody. Uh, uh, the Vish Machine, you know what I'm saying? OG, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Everybody, Co- Cookie Monster. Coach. For real? Yeah, uh, he, he, was, he was coach for one, <laughs> one two years. Because Vish coaching is crazy. Vish was coach, yeah. Yeah, so I got all my Great all my players. dogs, Flower, you know what I'm saying, yeah. uh, Mad Max, you know what I'm saying, Vic Sanity, you yeah, know what I'm saying, yeah. I ran into so my back dogs. This is po- Poland, topic. Mm-hmm. how do you feel? Like I love Poland, bro. You you said that on purpose you missed flight, so yeah. you, you were so angry to be here. Mm-hmm. You were so angry. Not angry, but... Not, like, you, f- frustrated. Not frustrated, no, no, I wouldn't say that either. I would say, like, I was just... But it wasn't my first option. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Poland, let's go. It's, we know that for American guy who just was at the Denver Nuggets practice, mm-hmm. Poland option, it's like, we know that it's not bad. It, we know that it's... Yes, I think. If I could go back, if I could go back, bro, I wouldn't even went to the Denver thing. I would have came straight out here and got ready for the season. If it's, I can go, knowing what I know now, knowing what I know now and... And going through Poland, like I wouldn't even, I would have said, I would have missed the Denver flight and came out here, bro. That's on, on my, on my mama, bro. You no, know, most people will give up. Uh, yeah, absolutely. You don't do I it. Go, absolutely. You don't do it. But you had the moments. I had, I ain't gonna lie. I broke down right before I came here, and that's why I got so much fire in this season. I broke down when DT was on that phone, and he was like, when Coach Chad said that, because my my agent put me on three way with all the scouts, so he like, don't say nothing, mute your phone. So I mute my phone, and Coach Chad, when when he say, yeah, Rogers the best player. He had game one and he picked up full court. Mm-hmm. He was running his team. He didn't turn the ball over. He he dominated. You know what I'm saying? He was MVP again. But they gonna go in a different direction. I heard that, bro. My whole heart stopped, bro. I was in UNLV gym. I never forget. I was a UNLV getting shot so with my brother. To be honest, you thought that they that they will get you, bro. I couldn't play no better. I couldn't play no better. I played, bro. I balled out, bro. Mm-hmm. I couldn't play no bad, but that's the only thing about being short. When you short, you got to check every box, and it still ain't gonna be enough. Yeah, if you could have opportunity to, you know, Denver Nuggets practice, so you will be running like this. Yeah, so I ain't. 
But I ain't, nah, I felt like giving up, bro, in that moment. But nah, my, my, my agent, he talked some sense to him. Like, you have, like, bro, you have, we human. You're going to have these feelings. You're going to have these emotions. But you got to feel it. Like, my mom always say, feel it. Mm-hmm. Take it in. Take a deep breath. Yeah. Now shake it off mm-hmm. and keep going. Keep going. And then I learned, like I said, watching the Michael Jordan movie Air. And mm-hmm. when Nike always say, Nike said they, what they build, they principles of their company was, mm-hmm. it's not about a perfect process. It's just about perfect results. So yeah. the process could be as messed up as possible, but as long as you get the results you want. Mm-hmm. And like I said, I had to figure out I'm still going through the process. And I still got steps to climb, bro. The process brings you here. Yeah, it ain't time yet, bro. You got You can't skip no steps. I got I got to go through Poland. Me, my whole life, bro, been like that. I got I got it every step. Mm-hmm. I don't give a damn. I score a, a million points in the game. People still gonna be like, yeah, but uh, yeah. all right, bet. So I got to Yeah, so I got to keep. I got to keep walking my. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But now I'm walking the journey to show kids, show everybody that you can do this, bro. You can go the long way. You don't got to play in EYBL. You don't got to have no scholarships coming out of high school. You don't got to be highly touted. You don't got to have no NBA coaches. Your dad. You know what I'm saying? If you think about it, the whole NBA, they they family it played in the NBA. Yeah. So it's like it's like a direct line, bro. It's like EYBL, your daddy play or your mm-hmm. cousin play. Now you in there. It's not the best players. Yeah. It's not, not nowhere near the best players. Cause we get in Vegas and they get cooked mm-hmm. bad. I got a lot, bro. If you go look at my old highlights, I got Isaiah Thomas. But I didn't cook my I didn't cook my uh my uh what what uh what they call it idol person I looked up to. Mm-hmm. I cooked Isaiah Thomas. You couldn't tell me nothing. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. Then all these guys in the Euroleague and all that, we don't play it against it. That's why I'm in Vegas. That's why I love Vegas. That's why I'm there. Because mm-hmm. I want to be matched up with all the best of the best. Yeah. Show me that you, what that contract say or whatever, you got to show me. Because mm-hmm. I don't, no matter what you did to them, you, know, you got to do it to me. Yeah. That's my mentality on the court. I don't, I'm, I don't give you Steph Curry. You did that to them. You ain't do it to me. You got to do that to me. Mm-hmm. And then you got to come guard me on the other end. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, that, that yeah, my I'm just here to, you know what I'm saying? Now I'm just... Showing, showing kids that you can make it no matter what, mm-hmm. and you can walk a different path. But uh, you are now here. We know that Polish league it's not the best league in Europe. We know that we have D2, D1, mm-hmm. then uh, you know extra class, mm-hmm. and then from extra class maybe. There are players for uh, for, But for, you for NBA. Think, you got to think about browsing in Vegas. Everybody in y'all first division was at impact with me. I done destroyed them. Everybody in y'all extra league at impact with me. I done destroyed them. I done played against all these players. So it's not it's not like me. I'm I'm in Vegas, bro. Everybody before they come, before they go overseas, before they do, they go to impact basketball. Mm-hmm. Or they go to LA. I'm in LA too at Mamba Academy, which is now Sports Academy. I done played against everybody. So you can't extra league, first league, that does that's all the same to me, bro. It's basketball. The same thing I'm doing right here in the mm-hmm. second league, I would do it in the extra league right now. It's the same. It's basketball, bro. It's a basketball and a goal. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's, it's basketball, bro. I done played against all these guys. So it's not no, like, the best the best American over here is me. Mm-hmm. And that's not just, like, that's just the fact. You know what I'm saying? So you're still very confident that you will go, you know, higher. You will go from here. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a plan, bro. You understand? We put the work in, first mm-hmm. of all. So, so that that's Because that's the main thing. We put the work in. If somebody just see you sees you one time, mm-hmm. we all know that you will go higher. Yeah. But you know, you just have to, you know, show up and yeah. show these guys like, on this Instagram posting this. Yeah, I gotta just climb my ladder, bro. It's always for me, it's always a double exception, bro. I always gotta mm-hmm. take the long route. Like when I got to college, I came from prep school averaging yeah. almost 30. This point guard y'all bringing in played D2 already, he averages six. What makes him better than me? And I was about to go play. to Baylor. You didn't play. But guess what? We was one and nine. Yeah. But when I start playing, game winner, game winner, game winner, uh, game winner, uh, 20, 25, 25, 25, 20. Absolutely. So what I'm saying is, bro, that's not, that's not, and like I said, that's not to be cocky. That's just the confidence of us putting the work in yeah. and my body of work. I got to believe my body of work. You look up Roger Ray. You don't see nothing. My stats go up every year. Go yeah. look at my college. Like yeah. I scored two thousand. We, we started when, really when people was getting when people was getting a one thousand point ball, bro. I was scored two thousand points, bro. Bro, I wasn't on scholarship the whole time in college. I didn't get a scholarship, even when I was the best player. I won player of the year, not on scholarship, bro. Politics. This yeah. this Politics. is this is my life, bro. But I'm built yeah. for that. I'm built for that, bro. I'm built everything we done went through, bro. I'm built for that. I'm built for this. So yeah. y'all can keep saying what y'all want to. I'm just gonna keep. 
putting the numbers up. My, like my mama say, the numbers don't lie. Mm-hmm. I'm, numbers, men lie, women lie, numbers don't lie. So the numbers going to keep speaking for me, and my game going to keep speaking for me. The game going to speak for itself. You know what I'm saying? We gonna, like my mama said, we could produce every time. Your mentality you want to think about me? You. Your mentality I'm going to produce. Much, yeah. You know what yeah, I'm saying? You're, you're, you have crazy mentality. You have crazy self... Uh, self uh, uh, discipline. Self-discipline. Yeah. You want to say that? No you said you you with confidence? Say, self-confidence, yeah. yes. Yeah, yeah. But and they come from putting the work in, bro. And that's good because we know uh, we need self-confidence, especially in basketball. You yeah, know? but that's why I be telling everybody that, that all the, look, the I be training the kids now, helping out. Take this, every mentality I got, y'all take it, bro. That's why the silverback is my logo, bro. We, we, we running head up on mm-hmm. everything. We're not running from nothing. You tie your shoe just like me. You bleed just like me. I put in work in the gym just like me. Why am I going to be scared of, of you? No, I'm not going to be scared of the outcome because guess what? I already put the work in to get the outcome. So now it's just about heart. Now when I get on the court and I haven't even, like I've been playing like just good basketball, playing, making the right plays for my teammates. We're trying to win championship. We're playing together. Like yeah. we're a good team. But if I get into that mode where it's just like, mm-hmm. if I get into that mode, mm-hmm. 60, bro. I'm gonna go for six on anybody. You know, so if I get in that mode, but being this height and being one thing be, about be basketball, for the next game. being that being this height, I do it, but then I pull it back a little bit because we be toe the line with with dominating and you know, saying making sure my teammates still involved. But the, the and then the crazy part about being this height is people don't like for you to score and be like the type of player I am because they feel like you're not supposed to be able to do this at this height. Mm-hmm. They pull you supposed to be six six doing this. You know what I'm saying? So my whole life, they try to stop me from scoring, stop me from... The craziest thing for me is that you know that you're the most underrated guy here. Mm-hmm. You're just this close to NBA, you're here, you love this place, but I think that you know that you're better than every guy mm-hmm. on the court. And you're still this, this pa- you're still so patient. Yeah. You're still so, you know, chill out. You're waiting for your moment. And, and that's like, it's so... It's so crazy because for us, like for every guy that I know, it's like uh, when he or she uh, doesn't have their opportunity now, mm-hmm. they're so crazy. They're yeah. like, you know, they're cooking themselves. Mm-hmm. But you, you know that you're absolutely amazing on the court, but you still do- doesn't have, you still don't have opp- opportunities. I feel like God God prepared me for this long journey. Mm-hmm. Like I said, seven different high schools. Yeah. I might have played two years in high school. If you count prep school, that's a, that was like an extra year after year. So yeah. that's not really high school. But I really played three. I played like two and a half. Two and a half. So I had to go this high school. They didn't give me word of God. They didn't give me a chance. I went, MV, I went rookie of the year at the same high school as John Wall. Next year. Same high school as John Wall. Yeah, I went rookie of the year. Next year. We doing good. Uh, grandma, my grandma died. So now, guess what? They take my scholarship away. Now I got to go to this school. I sit out so, of school for eight so months. seven different high schools, mm-hmm. and you were playing some amount of games, and then they were like... Sometime I didn't play. It was like two, three years where I didn't play. So they they said, okay, come. And then, no, 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 yep. go. <laughs> so I'll be in the hood. I'll be at the, the rec center. I'll be in the hood at the park. I'm in. I'm in. I'm playing basketball everywhere. Anywhere the ball bouncing, I'm there. I go for, bro, it, my, my, my days will be like this. I'll walk the bar well. Then we'd go to Biltmore. Then we'd go to Santa Fe Road, play outside. Uh-huh. Then we'd go play on the, on the block. You know what I'm saying? Then we'd come back and just play basketball all day, bro. So it's like that's the definition then, for and, tough men. Yeah. Tough then guy. we get the then we get to the gym and run up on the the guys that is playing uh-huh. at these schools. Oh, and we killing them because now I'm like I got to show you I'm better than you. You might be you got a jersey, but I'm better than you, bro. So <laughs> I always, bro, I always not play. I always been waiting for this my opportunity. I always not play more than I played. So, I mean, it's you know what I'm saying like I said, I'm just here to show kids like patience, hard work, mm-hmm. dedication. But like you said, don't get frustrated, bro. Patience is patience is what what's gonna get you there, bro. You gotta wait for the right time. Yeah. If you get the if you get the blessing at the right wrong time, bro, and you're not ready for it, yo, your opportunity come and go. And you, that's why I'm not tripping about the Denver situation because mm-hmm. what if I'd have went to Denver, right? Average mm-hmm. four or five points. I didn't do as good as I wanted to. And then now they like, I'm never getting a shot again. Never. Because you already had your opportunity. So when I get my opportunity, I want to be 100% ready. I want to come in and be able to really make an impact. So from the time you are, you feel that this Polish situation mm-hmm. is a great situation. Yeah. The best situation feel, I could have ever this. been in. Because you got to think about it, bro. I'm not just a basketball player. So mm-hmm. for my for me as a, a whole 
as the music and the yeah, business yeah, yeah. and everything. Yes, Poland is the best situation it's, for me. It's great so sometimes God give you exactly what you think you don't want, but it's the best thing for you. Like coming here, playing with playing with my teammates, meeting my brothers. Like they like my brothers now. Mm-hmm. So playing yeah. my teammates and then then what's happening with the music and the business? Oh yeah, no question, no question, bro. This is the best thing to happen, and I love Poland, bro. I love the people. Like y'all, all y'all cool, bro. Y'all show love, bro. Y'all got genuine love. Y'all like Poland. Y'all got the y'all y'all some of the best people I ever met, bro. Yeah, for sure. You, you, hear, you hear this guy from Las Vegas, North Carolina, mm-hmm. Indiana. Yeah, and still Poland is great place. Yeah, it's the still. best. Poland is the best, bro. Yeah, I, I love all my West, cities. Poland's the best. Yeah, yeah for sure. I, I ride with Poland, yeah. If you have some questions, we can ask. And I have another question about mm-hmm. your music. Uh, how important is music to you? And do you do it because you want to convey uh, some value to your audiences? Or do you do it for fun? Uh, for fun? I would say it's it's fun, obviously. It's one of my favorite things to do. Um, I don't do it for fun, but it's one of my favorite things to do. I'm doing it because it's in me. If it wasn't in me, I wouldn't do it. If I didn't think I could make an impact, I make a I can make a bigger impact with this microphone and this music than basketball. Like you said, when we first got here. Everybody mm-hmm. don't watch basketball, right? Everybody not a basketball fan. You know what I'm saying? But my words, I'm be pushing a different message. You know what I'm saying? I don't curse in my music, and I don't, and I'm pushing a different message out to the kids. The message I went, everything I went through on the court and through life. It's what I'm putting in the music. So the patience, the hard work, the confidence, all that is you what you gonna get from listening to me. And I feel like I'm the person you need to listen to. Because everybody that that got the shine right now or at mm-hmm. the top of the music game, they pushing a not the right message to the world, some of them, and some of them ain't never lived like that. I done lived it, been through it, and I could tell you which way to go. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I could tell you the right way to go. So I feel like I'm the person everybody's supposed to be listening to. So my brother gave me the name Hancho. Because I was already, always the leader of the family. You know what I'm saying? I always had to lead us. Uh, Ancho means like... Ancho is like a leader. If you look it up, Ancho, H-O-N-C-H-O. It means leader. Yeah. It means the leader of the group, the leader of the pack. I always Ancho had to be the like leader. slang? English slang? Yeah, it's like a slang in uh, in America. And it's, it just means like the leader of the... The head honcho of the group. You the leader of the group. You the... You the I'm, I'm the I point guard. I'm the floor. I saw that. I saw that. I thought like it's Roger... Del Ray Ancho, I don't yeah. like it's no, nah, no. Nah, I really, last name. I'm really the Roger, all that. I really don't like even like that's with basketball for sure, but that's not really like nobody call me that. Where I'm back from, they call me Ray or they call me Hancho. They don't Ray really, Ancho, yeah. nobody call me like either one or the other. People don't really say Roger, like nobody really say unless people I meet, they only people that call me Roger. People that know me or all my people around me, like in college, they call me Ray, Ray, and then all my family and my mama, all of them call me Hancho. So. Mm-hmm. It's, you know what I'm saying? That's just what it is. All that Roger stuff, is it ain't really mine. Okay. It don't really fit me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, you I dropped, like your real name is Ray. Yeah, I dropped that a long time ago. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> for real. Like, but I still do it for But Roger that is cool because it's like complete your mission. We saying Roger that to everything we trying to do. Mm. But back to your question, um, yeah, music is in me, bro. It's, it's, it's everything, right? It's, it's, it's the biggest it's the biggest thing I could do. And this value is it's my. It's part of my purpose. Okay. It's part of my purpose. I ain't know that for a long time. Like I said, I ain't do music going now from mm-hmm. nine years old all the way to twenty something. Yeah. Like, I, so I never, you know, what I'm saying I was never chasing it. But now, once I know that's my purpose, and I know that the effect I can have on the people, and and like I said, I'm, I'm passionate about it. So yeah, bro, like it mm-hmm. gotta happen. I've and, listened uh, uh, some of your work, you know, yeah. and it's really good. Uh, I have to say it. You have unique your style, and you and you, yeah, like, your clips have this vibe, you know, unique yeah. trap style. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but it's like, I ain't gonna lie, that 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 was cool. Like I said, that was like the warm up. Y'all heard like the practice yeah, that, rounds. That was the warm up. That was just the that was okay. just to get 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 yeah. it out there. I just didn't want it to come out right now and be like I'm rapping. People gonna be like, what the hell? So <laughs> now everybody know that I rap. I got videos. We done did at least like sixty some thousand on YouTube. Like we got a little traction, but that's all I wanted. I ain't want nothing else. But now. Yeah, now, that's why I took all the music the down. Time. I took Ray everything Ancho down. Just started, bro. Do you just hear that? Do you just hear start that? in Poland. <laughs> Ray Hancho <laughs> starting his career from Poland, baby. We dropping in Poland. Yeah. We got the craziest song called "Through the City," bro. The song is you aren't ready, yeah. bro. The song crazy. We got the video gonna go straight. I got the probably I got the best dancer in Poland. The video is 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 crazy, bro. 
And now I have a little bit idea, uh, spontaneous. Uh, we will go through the uh, like short section. Mm -hmm. We will ask you some uh, short questions, like, you know, and we will record it. Okay. Must be quick. Uh, yeah, like something like uh, just quick questions, quick answers. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, wait, wait. okay something like, and, and we can record it. Video. Uh, time. Ah, there uh, time. So uh, about. Uh, some questions. So, mm -hmm. Just have some quick, quick questions. Okay, some uh, quick questions. Okay, so your your top five, your top five guys, NBA guys. Right uh, now or in general? Your no, starting no. lineup. Oh, starting you lineup. You start yes, the lineup. All right. Yeah. So I'm going. You. Yeah, you. yeah. <laughs> I'm going. Uh, I'm going deep. Prom D Rose at the one. Prom. Yeah. Oh, good. Prom D Rose. Tough, tough. Yeah. It's, I'm going. Tough pick. I'm going. Michael Jordan at the two. Okay. You know what I'm saying? At the three, yeah, I'm gonna go. Three. I'm, no, no, no. Matter of fact, I ain't going Michael Jordan. I'm just going Allen Iverson at the two. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm okay, going AI. Okay. So I'm going Michael Jordan at the three. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Then I'm going, I'm going Shaq. No, no, no. Who, who, are the, who am I for? I'm gonna go probably K. Uh, Kevin Garnett at the four, oh. and then Shaq at the five. So you get tough, tough guys, tough yeah, yeah. trash talkers. Tough, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're tough guy. People that's gonna win. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. If I get okay. LeBron, he a good player, but. Uh, I'd rather have a win over the right play. Michael okay. Jordan and AI, they don't give me, you know what I'm saying? They don't give me the win. I don't need nobody passing it to, uh, to you know what I'm saying, whoever in the corner while uh -huh. they open. They open for a reason. I need somebody to take that last shot. Isaiah Thomas on six? Six man? Isaiah, yeah. Isaiah, yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Who's the six man? My six man. The bench. Off the bench. Six man. Bench former, but, but ready for play. <laughs> I feel like Isaiah Thomas is. is Isaiah cool Thomas is cool, but he he don't give me nothing on defense. <laughs> I got enough offense. I'm but, probably go like Scottie Pippen or somebody. Scottie, okay, yeah, yeah. Scottie Pippen. He's the under underrated. Yeah, yeah, I need a defender. I always feel like Scottie Pippen. Say, is like, I love IT, but I feel out of love IT. IT only play offense. You yeah. know what I'm saying? When I had to start playing full court and loving defense, mm -hmm. I stopped liking people that don't like defense. Yeah. You know? So uh, next question, quick. So like three things that you are very like you came to Poland and you're like, wow, I didn't know that this exists. Or in Poland, P like pierogies. P yeah, pierogies. Yeah, yeah absolutely. That's nice. best food in Poland. Yeah, yeah first pierogies. Best, best thing. Uh, you have something like, wow, why, why they're doing this or why they're you're just oh, uh, y'all breakfast a little different, but it's good. Like what? I never had, I never had the raw salmon with the, uh, you know, how they just had the salmon. They don't cook it with the egg. But, yeah, I never had that. Ah, I know, like uh, this uh, egg with uh, just uh, with ma mayonnaise. Yeah, with the salmon. You, you don't. You had. You have it. Nah. Still? I forgot what it's called. Sal salmon with eggs. I don't know the two. No, no, no. <laughs> Sal yeah, bro. No, it's like a sandwich, bro. I don't know. I had okay, it in okay, okay, Radom. Okay. Rad that joint was crazy. And then uh, my third. Wow. I thought that uh, in states you don't uh, treat bus and uh, public communication very, you know, for real. Like we are. Oh yeah, y'all take the bus and all yeah, that. Yeah, people, nah, yeah, nah, nah, nah. Yeah, people yeah. don't really know. Nah. Yeah. We ain't really on no public in transportation. States, everybody got cars. Cars or you yeah, on yeah. feet yeah. or Uber. That's the biggest. Yeah, yeah, you know. that yeah, that is y'all. Mm -hmm. Y'all be on the bus heavy. Now nah, we don't, don't do no buses. Okay, okay, okay. When I was younger, though, yeah, my grandpa well, in the city in Gary, in the Indiana, my grandma all we did was ride the bus. Mm -hmm. So yeah, back in the day, but now nah, not no more. Yeah, yeah. my grandma. Did. <laughs> yeah, we ride the bus. <laughs> That's but nah. okay, car too. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's obviously in Poland. Yeah. Your your quick question. Myślę, myślę. Czekaj, zdanie jak było po angielsku. Sentence. If you have only one sentence to word. Yeah, you oh, it's great. One message to One message players to, to to young players. From you, you know, just through struggle, through your height. To young players. It will be just like it, us, it, just it can like be us. great. Cool. Complete your mission, bro. Three simple words. You Complete get on them you mission. get on you get on you say you're gonna do something, go do it and don't stop till it's done. And that's what it is. Don't I don't care what happens, don't stop till it's done. Yes, the storm's gonna come. Yes, the hurricane's gonna come. Yes, the, the everything gonna hit. Life gonna hit you yeah, harder than anybody. Absolutely. But you gotta keep going. You gotta keep going. Complete your mission. That's what the Roger has about. Don't stop till you complete your mission. You know what I'm saying? All that we done been through, and we still out in Poland making it happen. So, was.
Thank you very much for coming here. here. Man. Uh, Appreciate y'all. For sorry having. for these technical problems. It's it's you know it's uh, it's big as it's bigger than us. But uh, thank you for this interview. 